boys and girls, and welcome back to school. I hope you all had an awesome spring break and did some really fun things, but we are back in school. So today for our lesson, we are going to go to Camp Wildcat. Woo! Go cat! All right, and we are going to talk about some of our school rules for in the classroom, when we're eating lunch, when we're walking in the hallway, or when we're even playing outside. There are things that we can do to be respectful, which means being courteous or being kind to those around you, being responsible, which means picking up after yourself and remembering to do the right thing, and being safe. And we all know what being safe means. So let's first talk about when you come into the school in the morning. Your teachers aren't there to walk with you, and sometimes there's not many adults in the hallway. When you come inside the school, you need to enter and exit quietly. It's like you're a little mouse. Nobody can even hear you. You want to be responsible by going to the restroom when you get to school before class start, starts. And also you want to be safe by keeping your hands and your feet and your objects to yourself. When we come into the school, are we gonna run and sprint and dodge and weave around the people? No, we are going to walk safely on the paw prints behind the person in front of us. It can be very dangerous if you try to sprint or run, especially on the ramp into the first grade hall. It is so dangerous and there's little kindergartners that you could really hurt because you guys are growing and getting bigger and about to be second graders. So we have to be really careful. And we always want to have those listening ears on in case an adult is giving us some sort of directions. All right. Just like that, when we're walking into the school, when we're walking in the hallway, we are going to walk and travel quietly because that is respectful. We are on a level zero, which means no talking, no nothing, just completely silent with our hands behind our back, our eyes facing forward so we don't run into the person in front of us and making sure that we are staying on our paw prints when we're moving in the hallway. And make sure even if you miss a paw print, keep those eyes up so you don't run into the person in front of you. Sometimes my class has a little problem with that, but we're working on it. Okay, next let's go over how we be safe, respectful, and responsible when we are eating our lunch. We want to use good manners and be respectful to, to those around us. We're eating lunch and we want to eat our food and make sure we're not throwing food or dropping food all over our classroom because this is our all of our classroom. We don't want food on the floor. We want to be respectful to it. In order to be responsible, we want to raise our hand if we need something. Your lunch teacher will happily come and help you open something or let you go to the restroom. If you need, don't forget this sign, but make sure you raise your hand. Don't yell across the room. Also, you're only eating your food. It's still Corona times and we wanna be extra, extra safe. So you are only eating your food. Plus maybe someone's allergic to something and you don't even know it. We don't wanna get them sick. All right, only a couple more. When we use the restroom, a lot of our restrooms in first grade are still connected to our rooms. So we can hear everything you're doing there. Also, to be respectful, we're respecting privacy. We always want to knock on the door to see if anyone's in there. And if someone's in there, then we're going to have to wait our turn. Okay? We don't want to keep banging on the door. Let me in, let me in. No. We are respectfully waiting. We're also being responsible by flushing the toilet and putting the toilet paper in the toilet and the paper towels that Anybody we dry. Anybody that clocks in and out. We dry our hands with the paper towels and those need to go in the trash can, not the toilet. It will mess up the toilet and we don't want that. And to be safe, Corona times and normal times too, we always want to wash our hands 
after we go and use the restroom. We could sing happy birthday. We could sing twinkle, twinkle little star so that we are extra safe with our hand washing. Our last one, when we go to play outside, be respectful by inviting others to play with you. If someone asks to play with you, say yes. Make a new friend, even if you don't know them. It doesn't feel very good if someone says, I'm not going to play with you today, or I don't want to play with you. Now, if you're playing a game and want to play a different game, is that okay? Yes, you can always choose a different game to play. But we just want to be kind to those around us. When the adult does this, or your teacher, <whistles> what does that mean? It means it's time to line up. You should come on the first whistle. It's very important. We don't want to lose anyone or leave anyone. So when you hear that whistle, you should be running over to get in line with your class. Now, some classes have maybe jump ropes or balls and things like that that they bring outside. And we want to make sure that we gather all of our equipment. We don't want to lose, lose any equipment outside or leave it. This is a big one. The biggest one in first grade that everybody should know. So listen, listen, listen. We are gonna be safe. We are going to keep rocks on the ground. What did I say? Rocks on the ground. Rocks and sticks belong on the ground. Rocks and sticks could really hurt someone when you pick them up or throw them. You could poke somebody's eye. You could cut them on their head. There's so many things that could happen with rocks and sticks. Keep them on the ground because they belong to nature, not you. All right, guys. So just remember, for Camp Wild class, in your classroom, in your the bathroom, on the playground, when you're eating lunch, we want to be respectful, responsible, and safe. And if you have an issue, let your teacher or an adult know. They are happy to help you. Or if you don't understand something, ask them. They'd be even happier that you asked. All right, guys, well, this week we are going to be looking for those people doing all the right things for Camp Wildcat, and maybe there will be a special surprise for you. Awesome job, guys. See you tomorrow. Bye.